Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Kryptonian saying here, bringing you guys a review for Black Clover Chapter 324. And we have to say it right now, Lucifero has been put on notice. The Black Bulls, they coming for him. And matter of fact, Yami is getting on his ass right now. Lucifero is in trouble. And if this man gets taken out like this, I'm going to say it right now. It might be a little unpopular. I'm not too sure. But given the fact that he had all this hype of being the king of the devils, and if he gets unleashed on the entire world, that he's going to bring about chaos and devastation and carnage and bloodshed and death. If this man gets packed up like this, because he's been playing around, I'm going to be so disappointed. Like, he's got gravity magic and... When we go to the Dante fight, like Dante, who? Dante, who? Dante was more creative. Like Lucifero out here getting caught slipping. Now I'm going to defend Tabata by saying this. This chapter does highlight some of Lucifero's own character flaws. He's arrogant. And up until this point, when we see how he's viewed humans, he's always looked at humans as they're beneath me. I don't need to worry about them. I'm not concerning myself with them. I will do as I please. They can do all these magic attacks and combos. They can do all their sneak attacks. None of this is going to matter to me because I'm Lucifero. I have big dick energy. It is what it is. However, in this chapter right here, it's just hammer after hammer after hammer that is falling on this man. And I like how Tabata opens it up with Zora taking all of the magic, putting it into his right fist, and then sending it back double. And what I like about that is that Lucifer right now is at the stage where he should be going, oh shit. And what I like about that is that you see as with Zora, the damage that is being done, the shock waves, you see as Lucifero's own fist is smoking. Just as Lucifero is realizing what's happening, that's when Yami and Nat show up and both of them are ready to go. And what I like right here is that you get this montage where Yami is talking to Nat and he's saying like, hey, the Black Bulls, you've seen them yourself. They're pretty fun to watch, weren't they? And you see it's like Nat is just recalling all of the interactions he's had with the Black Bulls. He's recalling how much they've grown in the time since then. And he's even acknowledging them in his own internal monologue. And what I like about this is that just as Nat is acknowledging the Black Bulls, you also have Lucifero going through that whole thing of acknowledgement with Yami and Asta and the fighters who are there fighting him right now. So I do like this theme that you've seen with this chapter so far. And what I like here is that even Zora takes the time to say, Hey, boss man, get out there and show us what you can do. Like you see like that playful goading that's right there. But what I like here is that Yami takes that time to say, I don't know what's going on. My body's being flooded with magic, but I'm about to go fuck some shit up because my squad has gone out there and pushed through their limits. My squad's been raising hell. I'm going to do the same thing myself. And you see probably the most insane set of double page spreads that i've seen from tabata in a long time you see is how right when yami says hey vice captain you're gonna be fighting with me and they do the shadow magic mixed with the dark magic for the mana zone you get the creation of the kids playground that page spread is so beautiful like those four panels that make up those two pages and just the way that you see the shadows and you see like the background you see some of the flames through there you see yami and nat's whole demeanor begin to change their faces look a little bit more deformed you see as lucifero has the old shit expression on you see as all the shadows are manifesting i love that you see that and then the next thing that you see on the next page is this super insane page spread where you see nat on one side and then on the other side you see his lucifero now he's got the old shit expression on his face and you got yami coming up from above and the way that the panels are drawn like you got the one on the far left with a man's rearing back with the sword and you got the attention to detail with the veins and the sweat on the man's arms and then right underneath that where his leg is at you shot a yami as he's beginning to swing that sword down and you just see it's the fact that darkness 
is working hand in hand with shadows and lucifero right now is in trouble and even the supreme devil that's watching this he's like whoa 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 he's taking interest and lucifero looks down at his arm he sees the damage that has been done and he starts getting irritated and right there the monologue goes through his head and he's recalling everything it's like it's actually possible for humans to kill me huh? what 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 and what i like about that is that the last thing he thinks about is asta with the anti-magic sword and this man says i acknowledge you and as big of a roman reigns fan as i am that, that that's the first thing went to my head like romans like acknowledge me yami will be roman reigns in this case however the fact is is that lucifero it went from their peasants their ants i'm gonna stomp a mud hole in them i'm gonna walk it dry it is what it is it went from that to wait a second i can't take them lightly to okay they can actually fuck around and kill me and right here he's basically saying i'm done fucking around with you and He's talking that talk right now. I'm going to say that. He's talking that talk. He's like, look, I'm going to utterly destroy you. I'm going to kill your parents, your siblings, your friends, your neighbors, all humanity. I'm going to annihilate everybody. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. No bullshit, bro. And I'm going to use all the power that I now possess. And... I like the way that Yami is just drawn like, yo, this man's finally going to get serious. In one case, it looks like Yami's like, okay, like this is going to be a little harder than I thought, but hey, it is what it is. However, you get Asta and Yuno and you can tell the two of them, like they got that shit eating grin on their face. And it looks like for them, it's one of those things where they're like, hold on. The king of the devils just acknowledged us. Like, we want to be the wizard king. And the king of the devils acknowledged us. When we kick his ass, I'm going to take his head and drop that shit down on the Clover King's desk and say, bitch, I'm wizard king now. Like, I love what we see right here in this double page spread that ends on the very back where you have Nat and you have yami daring down lucifero yami is working in combination with nat as well as william von just because von just did put all of his magic energy into that world tree sword for yami and now you have asta and yuno directly beneath them and lucifero's basically saying i'm ready to take on all comers what i like about this is i still think that Yami is gonna play a huge role in defeating Lucifero again, just because of dark magic and world tree magic, but Asta and Yuno, they're there. And I'm kind of curious, Lucifero is talking mad greasy right now, but you don't have a grimoire. And that's the thing I'm kind of looking at and wondering, where's that next step gonna come from? Like, I, I, I like what we're seeing. I definitely think that Tabata is setting the stage for a hell of a climax and the whole time you just keep looking at the other supreme devil and you keep going when's that shoe gonna drop when is he gonna make his move because he almost comes across like somebody that isn't gonna step in on the side of lucifero but he's not gonna step in on the side of the humans he's more so a spectator but at the same time because we don't know where his allegiance lies we don't know who he's gonna backstab and while you have Nat in his devil union mode, we still have not seen Asta and Libe go into devil union mode together since Yami has come back from the dead, basically. So I'm kind of curious, when's that shoe going to drop? Especially now, because when you look at Lucifero, he's looking more and more like what we saw when we were first introduced to him via Libe's whole recalling of what things were like in the underworld i'm kind of curious when is libe going to tell us the truth about his mom i keep thinking that this is going to play a part in the story it's too much of a low-hanging fruit not to use however i want to know from you guys how do you guys feel about lucifero finally getting serious let me know down in the comment section below so always guys like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching until the end have an awesome day guys